We all share the same world, but there's unseen worlds, different layers, and deep underneath, there's a world of brick kilns and gold mines filled with tens of millions of people who are enslaved. We are going to open your eyes to see this world as we come face to face with slavery. We are Jordan and Cassie Tempe, photographers and filmmakers. We had the amazing opportunity to document the work of Free the Slaves, an organization fighting to end modern day slavery around the world. We had no idea what to expect, but we traveled to four different countries and saw many forms of slavery. And now, here we are at the end of our journey in Ghana. We're at the Cape Coast Castle, the site of the Door of No Return, where millions of Africans passed through on the slave ships, never to see Africa again. We see so many obvious parallels between historical slavery and modern day slavery and trafficking, but the biggest difference is that here, slavery was in the open. Today, slavery and trafficking is hidden, unseen, nearly invisible. Today, the doors of no return are places like unmonitored borders, such as the one we saw between Nepal and India, where people are tricked with the promise of employment only to find themselves trapped. this was our first time working with slavery survivors and seeing Free the Slaves work on the ground. We heard so many heartbreaking stories like those of Sima and Kamala, but we saw the positive change that can come out of it when local grassroots partners help empower survivors. I always wanted to work for women's rights and the rights for the most marginalized of my country. And trafficking and slavery survivors are the most deprived. So I want to help them to stand up in their life. Hi, I'm Neelam Sharma. I work with Free the Slaves as a country director for Nepal program. One of our local partner is Shakti Samuha. Shakti Samuha is a very important part of my life. I am a very important part of my life. I am a very important part of my life. I am a very important part of my life. I am a very Yuvi <laughs> So, Amro, you you jilla tin or ta jilla ko ano ba manje? Na maile jati pani didi wani orla dete. Waar ko price samasya kya bani? Pashi san sana chora chori oru waar ko sabai ko ani shiksha diksha dina pani chora chori la. Waar uchay bai deshi kroz gar ma jana chahani. Tisle gar gaise hamle chali ke bari rasa mane. Pashi waar la jinte IG support mane ra na IR jan soyog jan gar ekat chau. आ <laughs> 
All of our programs are co-implemented by Free the Slaves and Sakti. I visit rural areas frequently to oversee how the program is going and how we can enhance the overall program quality. I feel very satisfied when I visit these women's groups. They perform a lot of activities. They are vocal and they fight for their rights. They create a lot of awareness to other people. When I see these women being empowered, it empowers me. It was there in Nepal that we first saw the effectiveness of the Free the Slaves model of working with already established grassroots partners. And we continued to see this model when we went to India. A key element in this model is the Free the Slaves country director. And when we were introduced to Supriya, we understood why the India program is so successful. It was simply a call. I always wanted to do something like this because I could see something changing in front of me, the people's life. That was my dream. My name is Supriya Avasti and I work with Free the Slaves as South Asia Director. I work with grassroots groups who bring people together to come out from slavery into freedom. One of our partner, MSC MBS, they work with border labor or slave labor. MSC MBS basically believes in rescue, rehabilitation and reintegration, along with the prevention, prosecution and conviction of the slaveholders and traffickers. The root causes of slavery which we find in the community is not only the poverty, but also denial of basic rights. The nature of Brooklyn is such that uh, people who are working there are entirely in slavery. And the reason for this is that this whole industry is controlled by violence and threat. How we define slavery is anybody who is held physically under violence are not paid or paid below minimum wages. This is all illegal. They probably know, but they don't have the courage to come out of it. Until MSGMVS field workers reach to them. And that is the time when they start realizing how they can change their situation. One village has become a legend after Free the Slaves and MSGMVS helped them to escape slavery. The village of Sakdori not only gained their own freedom, but now works to help others do the same. मालिक और मन से कि नहीं काम करो तो तुमको भट्टा में फेंक देंगे हम इस मल्ले के बाद हम लोग कार्रवाई कर दिए हैं अकेले सरजी के फोन कॉल गल अकेले सरजी इना और सतजीत इना और आप इनी और उठे और मैडम जी रहनी अब when we actually drove to the village where the people were rescued. There was a dead silence. They were scared to come out. And I told them that you come out, there'll be no fear. You'll be safe, we are here, and we will ensure that you get justice, that you'll be freed. When we got back from the Brooklyn after freeing these people, we did help them to organize. They were able to access their rights they had the livelihood to sustain, but it was a process which took two to three years. And today I'm back in this village and I can see them that they are fully matured as that they have been able to access all their rights. 
हम लोग के बताएं साहब कि आप उनसे जुड़ेंगे तो हम लोग का कितना है अधिकार भागेगा आगे वही से हम लोग मीटिंग करते हैं गांव गांव में दस लोग बुला के बीस लोग बुला के आप आने इतना बंद हुआ है उसको बुला के आप आने घर पर मीटिंग करते हैं हम लोग आजाद हैं भी अभी काम करते हैं अभी कोई दिक्कत नहीं है हम लोग बंधुआ में नहीं है आप आने जिम्मेदारी से दो सौ सौ रुपया काम करते हैं दिन भर में आप आने घर पर आके सुखी से खाते हैं घर आए तो हम लोग को ऐसा लगा कि चलो मुक्ति तो मिल गया अब ठीक ठाक से अब आज़ाद होके अपन काम धंधा कर ली हम लोग कोई दिक्कत नहीं है हम आजाद हैं It was inspiring to see the village of Sakdori now living in freedom. And it's even more incredible when you understand what they overcame. At a different village, we saw firsthand the conditions that people are forced into at these brick kilns and heard more slavery stories. But we saw great hope as they build their freedom brick by brick. <laughs> अदवर के कुल सर समारा वो इंफेक्ट जर जा हमने इनका आज से छूट गई ली तब ना जाद में भाई ली ना तो तो बड़ी परेशानी बड़ी दुर्गत कही ली मधुबारा ली हमने तब के मारतो पीरतो रहा ला साहेब तो हमने कहीं सुना कहीं और हम आनों के गोल में कर दिए मर गए ना ये खर्चा खर्च मारा पिता हमारे भाई के थोक के चाटा उलान आप इसने बंद कर दिए साहब वही डर के मिले हम हैं वहाँ से चले चार पांच साल काम वहाँ कर रहे हैं चार महीना के पांच महीना थे वो तो हम तो हम लोग नहीं भागे थे बाकी हमारी पत्नी का ढेर बहुत हालत खराब हो गया था सीरियस हो गया था वो तो पैसा मांगे नहीं मिला फिर गाड़ी आए सब मारे पीटे पीपल इन स्लेवरी हैव टू बी रेस्क्यूड द होल अप्रोच ऑफ द स्लेव्स एंड द पार्टनर्स इज नॉट टू जस्ट फ्री देम बट टू सस्टेन द फ्रीडम वी डू नॉट गिव एनी हाई ड्रीम्स और बिग ड्रीम्स टू द कम्युनिटीज हु आर फ्री because we want them to have those dreams and then realize them and the cvc in the village wanted to realize their dream of being an owner of their own bricklayer and they came up with idea together they started from one brick bahut antar bhai bahut antar ke ye to ghar ka baat hai na ghar ke mamle mein log kaam kar rahe hain jam ko सोच रहे हैं कि बाल बच्चे के लिए भी सुखी से रह जाए हम लोग अब से मतलब कि सुख से तब आगे भी चल के सुख से रह जाए हम लोग का भट्ठा अच्छा लगा था मतलब और दो चार दस लोग के लिए आँखें यहाँ खटा लेते और अच्छा लगी हम लोग के माने यही रखता है कि हम लोग ये राम जान के जैसे वो लोग जोड़े हैं तो ऐसे जोड़ी पर सब पात रहे थे दिल्ली में मकान बना ले अपन कर खा जाए सर इसलिए हम लोग कभी इससे आगे बढ़े हमारे बदले ईटा का मतलब बहुत आजाद बा This was a truly amazing experience. Seeing people who were once enslaved to make bricks, now coming out of slavery and deciding to start their own brick kiln, using those same skills that once enslaved them to ensure their economic freedom. We saw a similar hope in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, where economics were used to train slavery survivors to prevent them from becoming susceptible to slavery again. <laughs> Hatumika mu karriere, 
nikasikia kama kama so deep pressure kwa sasa watu hapa hapa ruaya ndio nikaingia na tukana information so deep bele sikuna jua nyo sikuna jua nyo la mess so deep ndio ni funshaka kazi yangu nafanya ime na siku ni kafaka kazi ya salu Tulimalizaka akatupatia vio kiti tondeze na groupe Asodip qui veut dire association pour le développement des initiatives paysannes cette association travaille dans le cadre de la lutte contre l'esclavage moderne pour combattre les nouvelles formes de l'esclavage Asodip utilise une approche communautaire En fait, dans Asodip, nous avons un programme intitulé Activité génératrice des revenus. Et dans le programme que nous exécutons en collaboration avec Frise Slave, cette activité sert à faire la réinsertion socio-économique des survivants de l'esclavage moderne. Alors, ce programme a deux volets. Le premier volet, c'est la réinsertion des survivants après la formation en métier. Les filles, on leur apprend comment coudre. Les garçons enseignaient comment coiffer pour la coiffure. Et le second volet, c'est alors l'approche misopèque. Du côté de misopèque, des mutuelles de solidarité paysanne d'épargne de crédit, ils sont également affectés par les formes modernes de l'esclavage. Et à l'issue de cette approche, nous leur montrons comment c'est possible que l'on puisse accroître son revenu sans forcément passer par l'esclavage moderne. Je vais vous dire que je suis en Afrique, je suis en Afrique. Je suis en Afrique, 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 je suis en Afrique. À Sodip, sa vision c'est de soutenir les paysans. Par l'approche communautaire, la communauté puisse arriver à se relever. We had the opportunity to see an entire village becoming aware of the issue of modern-day slavery through an unexpected medium in a rural village of the DRC, where electricity is non-existent unless you have a generator. Beaucoup d'études ont été menées ont démontré qu'il y avait la pratique de l'esclavage, mais d'une autre manière que sur le territoire de la République démocratique du Congo. Beaucoup de personnes ont été forcées de travailler parce qu'ils n'ont pas payé leurs dettes. Beaucoup d'enfants ont été forcés de travailler parce qu'ils vivaient dans des familles pauvres. Beaucoup de filles ont été forcées d'avoir des relations sexuelles. Cette fois, Common Ground a signé un contrat de partenariat avec Free the Slaves pour mettre en œuvre un projet de lutte contre les formes modernes d'esclavage. La, la stratégie que nous utilisons, c'est par rapport à la mobilisation des communautés. Et on utilise la radio, on utilise les projections à cinéma mobile, on utilise le, des formations pour que nous arrivions à atteindre toutes les couches des communautés. Cette Focam Common Ground a collaboré avec Free the Slaves dans le développement du script du film. L'intitulé du film est « Hatuko Watumwa » qui veut dire « We are not slaves ». Le film que nous avons développé, c'est une fiction. Une fiction qui interpelle les gens. Après, on a eu une version du script finalisée et acceptée par tous les partenaires. Voilà, et le film a été réalisé par une maison de production que nous avons identifiée à Goma, qui s'appelle « Hollywood. Quand je me retrouve travailler dans un tel projet, vraiment je suis fier. Et nous, nous avons intervenu côté technique, donc l'adaptation technique du film en tant que réalisateur. Avant le film « L'esclavage moderne », on n'était même pas au courant de ça. Le film encourage également les communautés à se mettre ensemble et dans la lutte contre les faux modèles d'esclavage. 
Et on commence d'abord par projeter les films. Après la projection, il y a un débat. Et la première question que nous posons aux communautés, c'est de savoir est-ce que ce problème est réel dans votre communauté Et les communautés crient oui, oui, il y a ce problème-là. Et d'ailleurs, ils commencent à citer certaines personnes, certaines personnes. Après, on appelle un des participants à venir parler de son expérience. En rapport avec le cinéma d'hier, je vis que vraiment c'est constitué, surtout dans notre milieu de Roubaïa et ses environs, un milieu dans lequel il y a des carrés miniers, mais malgré cela, ces carrés miniers, il faut passer des travaux forcés à des enfants. Les films, normalement, ils ont inspiré les tubes à Minsana. Dans le cas de Mouzouri, si un jour tu ne peux pas concerner ça. Je ne suis pas un fan. Je ne suis pas un conseil. Je ne suis pas un fan. Je ne suis pas un fan. Je ne suis pas un fan. Je ne suis pas un Je suis en train. Les films vont plus contribuer aux connaissances des communautés sur la pratique de l'esclavage. Les films vont aider les communautés à se mettre ensemble et à mener des actions contre cette maladie. It can be hard for parents and children in extreme poverty to look past their immediate needs, which is why you often see so many children working in the mines, rather than going to school. Like in the Congo, Ghana is also rich in minerals and struggles with children working in dangerous conditions rather than continuing their education. While the Congo is rich in minerals that are needed for nearly every cell phone produced, in Ghana, it's a much older demand that exists. Mining for gold. Gold mining has been a traditional uh, trade of the people of Ghana. The conditions in the unlicensed gold mining sites are deplorable, especially for children. And of course, we also have the issue of bonded labor. Now there is a high preference for children because children do not have a bargaining power. They don't determine the rate that they want to take. You know, they are often assigned any role. But for the most part, you find children engaged in the process of the washing, grinding, and also processing the, the grounded ore and mixing the mercury. So basically, children are engaged in one of the most dangerous parts uh, of the mining operation. The most complex situation about child slavery in mine is that sometimes it's difficult to actually identify it when you come face to face with it. Through our work, we have realized that child slavery actually exists in mining communities. We need to rather build people's capacity to be able to see it when they come face to face with it. Basic rights. What FTS and its grassroots partners does is to allow community to participatorily select representatives for FTS and the grassroots partner to train. They then go back to their various communities to start mobilizing people for action. Learning group, the curriculum, I would say, is the heart of the child rights project because it is what generates community discussion, what generates the desire to change people's attitude. 
Now because the books are just tailored for adult use, we also engage with the children in a different uh, line. So children are formed into child rights clubs. They are given various education on slavery, on trafficking, on the effects of response of child labor. We now have children who are actually demanding their basic rights from uh, duty bearers through the child rights clubs that we form in the communities. We have learning groups actually following up on their action plans, moving on to district assemblies, engaging the district authorities to demand some of the things that they have the right to. What I hope to see as a result of our program intervention in the mining areas is to see every child of school going age in school. So I would say a lot has been done, but a lot more uh, needs to be done in the area of child protection. It was an honor to be able to meet and document these people's lives and the issue of slavery in Ghana. It's not one organization alone that makes a dent in this problem, it's individuals making all the difference. In order to have a chance at fighting modern day slavery worldwide, Free the Slaves needs passionate field workers on the ground standing up against these injustices. By partnering with already established grassroots organizations, they find people whose hearts are close to the issue and who truly want to make a difference for their country and for the world. I'm passionate, generally passionate about development. I'm passionate about seeing smiles on the less privileged people. I'm passionate about changing people's situation and making them realize that uh, they could all be in a better world that we all enjoy. I don't get tired doing it. And I don't see it as a job because I love doing it. FTS have a very interesting model in working with partners in Ghana. FTS believe in building capacity of grassroots partners to lead the development processes within their own area. For example, the Child Rights Project. FTS is working with Mehoso, that's Mission of Hope. The partnership with Free the Slaves is very important because, one, it builds um, the capacity of the grassroots organization, that is Mehoso International, from advocacy to community development work then we are the direct implementers on the grounds. In Ghana, we are looking out for a future where children are free from all kinds of exploitation, child labor, trafficking. We want to see that children are free to go to school, we have access to health care, and then they are free. This project has shown a lot of results. The idea is that we want to see Mimosu grow as a grassroots organization that could stand on its own without FTS in a few years to come. It's the same process we have for PDA, which is Participatory Development Associates. I always go by the slogan, Everyone Matters. PDA wants to involve people in a participatory way, building their capacities for their own development. Without PDA's connection with the communities, it would have been difficult for some of us to um, have the opportunity to meet the community members and talk to them about social issues. But now, there is a collective resistance in the communities that we are creating. FTS, with its grassroots partners, believe that communities need to lead their own development process and for any development to happen in the community, it must come from the community. From child protection in Ghana, to survivor aftercare in Nepal, to community awareness in the Congo, Free the Slaves has different approaches for each place they work. The common thread for all is community empowerment, and through this empowerment, we see a better hope for the world. Here we are at the end of this journey, and we've seen so much, but this is just one small piece of a huge global problem that often goes unseen. Now that you and I have come face to face with slavery, 
We need to work together to end this problem. Our hope is that future generations will be able to look back on this problem like we look back on this castle and the transatlantic slave trade, a sad piece of history that's ended.